Hello, this is Julius from Basic Financials. I'm going to do a video today, uh, slightly different from usual. It's about the um, Google AdSense accounts uh, and the change with regard to foreign tax, or specifically the US tax. Um, you've probably received an email. If, if, you've, if you're monetizing your YouTube account or um, using Ad AdSense, um, and other things as well, then uh, you will have re probably received an email from YouTube saying um, that they uh, might have to re deduct withholding tax if you don't uh, get your forms in order, basically, submit, submit tax information. Um, now, I'll start off here by saying um, that you do need to do something. Um, don't just look at it and think, oh, that doesn't apply to me. Um, and you'll see why in a little while. Um, if you do need to, to submit a form of, of some sort, so carry on listening. <laughs> um, basically, I'll start by saying if you if you are a U.S. citizen, which you, I'm not really addressing U.S. citizens, but you, you need to know why um, it's important to know what's happening with U.S. citizens. If you're a U.S. citizen um, earning money from YouTube, then using Google AdSense, then you would almost certainly um, have a, be doing tax returns in the US and your paperwork would therefore be in order. The United States would have um, your your US tax uh, reference and you'd be do they'd know you're doing tax returns and therefore everything's dealt with in that and they wouldn't therefore need to deduct withholding tax. Um, so f now that's important because if you're if you don't submit a form, they will. You will be assumed to be a U.S. citizen with a business in the U.S. And if you haven't submitted a form, they will also assume that you're a U.S. citizen, not having had got your paperwork in order, and therefore they will deduct withholding tax from you from, uh, from any, uh, an individual. That would be twenty four percent. Um, so. That's why it's important. So if you don't submit a form, they will assume you're a US citizen and that you haven't got your tax affairs in order, you haven't got the paperwork, but they don't know what your number is, and therefore they will deduct tax from, or ask Google to deduct tax from your income, withholding tax. That's why you need to get your form in. So what do you do? If, if you're a non-US citizen, uh, so any, from anywhere else in the world, then... Um, the US will collect tax on revenue that comes from viewings uh, within the US. So it's a little bit complicated to get your head around some of these things. So if your viewings from other places would not normally count. Um, going back to what I said about the assuming that you're a US citizen, they would tax your income worldwide because US citizens um, are taxed on all of their income, so they would they would not just treat your U.S. income; they would treat the world your worldwide income from your sales. So um, yeah, that's even more important. But if you're outside of the, U, the U.S., they want to tax your you your U.S. produced income, so viewings and subscriptions from people in the U.S. They want to tax that. You can find out, I think, what your um, what your foreign income is by looking at, um, or US income in this case really, um, by looking at the analytics I believe, I don't actually do this myself, um, but uh, yeah, I think that's how you can do it. Uh, there is some good guidance on YouTube to show you how to do that sort of thing, so you can see how much it would apply to you. Now, you need to need to go into your, um, you log into your Google AdSense account, um, and go to ma the manage settings and manage your US tax settings um, and then you need to submit a form uh, basically they're, they're made, the thing the form, form is likely to apply to you if you're an individual this should lead you to this when you answer the questions when you put your name in um, and say what you're doing um, it should lead you to submit a form W8BEN um, ben, B E N standing for benefits, which is short for um, uh, tax treaty benefits. Um, so you, the first thing is you'll you'll start to submit the form to let them know who you are. Now you'll then ask to claim tax treaty benefits. Now 
that what that does is it potentially reduces the amount of withholding tax. So the the fact that you've um, the fact that you've submitted something to them will then stop them assuming that you're a US citizen, so that's good. But then you don't want them to be deducting, if, if you do have income from the US, or, or and then you don't want them to be deducting tax if you're already paying tax in your country. Now, that, so you might be able to use a, a tax treaty. Now, this form will allow you to say say which which country you're in, and therefore which the fact that you want to use that the treaty that they've got with that country, uh, and you will have to do that. You'll have to give them a tax reference number. Now, if you're in the United Kingdom, um, if you're registered for self-assessment, which you might be already because you might have enough income from your YouTube, for example, to buy over a thousand pounds. If you've got more than a thousand pounds of um, trading income, then you should be declaring on a tax return. You would therefore have a unique taxpayer reference, which is ten digits. Now that could be your number. If you haven't got that because you're just an individual, um, just doing it as a hobby, and you're you're not your income isn't enough to warrant doing a tax return, then you could put in your national insurance number, um, and that should do the same thing. So so that would that, that's all you need for that. Um, and then you would say which country you're applying for the tax treaty. Um, and now, for example, if you're in the United Kingdom or Canada, then it's naught percent. So the withholding tax on your US income would be naught percent. Um, if you're in, it's not the same for all countries. So uh, Mexico and I think they give the other example of Korea is ten percent. So you would still have tax deducted. Um, yeah. So what the, what the US want to do is make sure they're collecting tax that's due where it's not already being dealt with in another country. Now there's a, a we'll give a bit of a walk through um, on how to do this um, after I've finished talking. Um, I think I've, that's probably enough, but I, I just thought it'd be a good idea to understand what's going on um, and why, um, so that because that makes it easier to see why you've got to fill out those forms. And the consequences if you don't. So I hope that helps um, and yeah like and subscribe please as usual and I'll see you again for another video soon and remember you've got a walkthrough coming up after this. So take care. So here's the walkthrough from when I did uh, when I updated my tax information um, I'm going to take you through straight from Google um, you'll probably get an email about this um, and you can follow the link to update your AdSense information from there. But instead, I'll just take you through directly from Google. Um, this example is going to be from one of my accounts, um, of which doesn't make any money, but is still the same process. So I've typed in Google AdSense. Um, I've gone on to the second, click the second Google search, um, and it's taken me to the Google AdSense sign-in page. So you're going to want to click the sign in button up the top right um, and sign in to your account. So you're going to want to fill in the password. And then that should take you onto your earnings. So this um, this page, obviously, this is my account that I don't have monetized, but you can still manage your tax information. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can click manage tax information at the top there and that will take you straight through. However, if you've already done it and need to change it, this is the other way. You click on left panel uh, payments. Um, you go into manage settings on the bottom right. And then you'll scroll down to United States tax. Um, you'll also click the edit button on here and then manage tax information. So from here, you'll get a screen that looks like this and you'll click add tax info um, on the far right hand side there. It will then ask for you to verify um, that it's you doing it um, and then we'll take you back into the tax information. So the first slide well, the first bit you're going to see is um, what type of account. So for this, you are um, an individual account, um, you, unless you are a business doing it um, or doing YouTube, you'll be an individual. And then you'll click next from there. Um, are you a citizen or resident of the United States? So in this case, um, 
we are residing within the United Kingdom. So I'm going to say no. If you are a citizen or resident of the United States, you'll obviously click yes. Um, and then you'll go on from there. And then you click next at the bottom. So then it takes you to two forms you can fill out. Um, the first one, W8 BEN. Um, so that's used by sort of non-individuals. Um, and you'll most likely be, do be doing this one. Um, if not, uh, if you're a business, um, a non-US business entity, um, or an individual earned income related to US trade and files, a US tax return, then you would go that second one. But in our case, we're going to be filling out the top one as we are an individual. So then first of all, um, you make sure your name is correct at the top of the screen. Um, fill that out correctly. Doing business as, so um, you probably wouldn't fill this out, but if you are a business, um, you would put in your business name. You would then select which country you are citizen of. So we are a citizen of the United Kingdom. Now, the taxpayer identification number. Um, so you will put here your tax number or your tax identification number. So in this case, our national insurance number, because we're in the United Kingdom, you'd put that in this box. You don't um, go to the US government to request um, a TIN you will use your um, your tax information from your country. So um, if you're from Mexico, for example, you will do your tax identification number from there. Canada, there'll be a different tax identification number, etc., etc. This is because different countries have different treaty and have different tax rates with the US. So once you've done your tax information uh, your national insurance number it will then take you to some more information your address you firstly got to fill out so um, you don't need to tick unless your permanent residence is a PO box or in care of address don't tick that first one um, if you live in your own house um, or rent a house or live somewhere else you will put that information um, in the top there under where you write your address um, it also has the mailing address. So obviously, um, if you have the same mailing address, um, then you would tick that box um, and move straight on. If you don't have the same mailing address, you'd obviously fill that out underneath. So I've just skipped across that um, so you don't have to see where I live. Um, so then next point three. Um, are you claiming a reduced rate of withholding under tax treaty? So in this case, because we reside within the UK and that has a special treaty, you will say yes. If you say no, um, that means that you will likely be um, given 30% withhold tax on payments from AdSense. Um, so in this case, we're going to click yes. Um, because we are a country claiming treaty within the US. If you were in another country, say Mexico, it's a slightly different rate of 10% tax treaty, whereas the UK is 0%. So we will therefore get 0% on our income from AdSense. You then put in which country you reside in and you then tick this resident of country claiming treaty within the US. Um, make sure you tick that one because it's quite easy to forget. So special rates. Now, if you're a YouTuber, um, you will only earn from services, which AdSense. You obviously use motion picture and TV or YouTube, um, but you don't actually get money from both of those. So you're just going to click services. And then you're going to click which article um, and paragraph. There's only one option here, so fairly straightforward. Um, and the withholding rates, because we're in the United Kingdom, you're going to do 0%. So when it's the reason why um, you meet the terms of the treaty, um, just make sure you have a read through that um, and make sure you tick the box. Um, yeah, otherwise, it won't let you continue. Then finally, um, you'll scroll down to next. 
Right, so this is a document preview. Um, so this is just a, you can have a look at the PDFs that you created. Um, you can do that in your own time or by clicking the two links. Um, and then you tick to confirm that you reviewed the generated tax forms. Final part, um, certification. So just have a read through the information there. You're just claiming that you are and the person you say you are. Um, everything is correct. Um, and like, for example, you're not from the US. Um, then you put your full name in there um, as, the, as the digital signature. Um, and you would select yes if you are the person listed. If you are under 18, for example, you probably would get a parent to fill this out um, and they would probably sign that for you and you would click that second option saying I'm not that person. So number six, activities and services performed in the US. So in this section, um, activities performed in the US. So you've identified that the tax identity section performed any activities and services of Google within the US. So you're going to click no, because obviously you're not uh, conducting or making any of your videos in the US, unless you are a US citizen and reside within the US. You also click the box to certify um, the services provided to Google will be performed solely outside the US. Um, in this case, it will be from the UK. So therefore, that's why we tick that box. Um, the second part. So we're providing tax information for a existing um, payment profile. So if you are monetized, you are providing tax information um, for an existent payment profile that has previously received payments. So you'd select the bottom one. If, however, you are not yet monetized, you would click the top button um, because you haven't received any payments yet. That's the only difference there. Um, so if you were monetized, uh, you would click this bottom one um, and then you'd also check the uh, under penalties box um, just to make sure. Afterwards, um, after you've selected um, or you've confirmed um, the information there, have a read through it, um, you would then click Submit. This will then take you over to a summary page. So uh, this will just give you a bit of information on um, just to confirm that everything's there. Um, and you can have a look over that just to make sure your details are correct. You should also get an email um, in the top right hand corner uh, just to confirm as you saw there. So we'll still get um, notification. However, um, you can just click dismiss now and go on to your other notifications. So that's the walkthrough complete. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to use the comments box and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like and subscribe and see you for another video soon.